Okay, let's start this goddamn episode. Okay, yeah. Welcome to another episode of What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Nicola Fodi. And I'm Megan Goddamn Tanjas. And we're here to give you all things fuckworthy. So in this wonderful show that we do every week, most of the time it's on a Wednesday, we give you first things that we're here for, and then things that made us say, what the sweet fuck. And then we tell you who we are in a segment called, Please fuck. And then we thank our Patreon babies. So stay tuned to the end. What are you here for today? Okay, so I don't know how you feel about public proposals. I'm sort of back and forth on it. Where like, I kind of, there's a time- I'm fine with it. I have, I mean, I'll have emotional reactions to watching it. When I think of like for myself, if I would want a public, I don't know, truly can't even imagine wanting to marry someone. So it's like that already would be a mountain to climb. And then on top of that, we got to discuss it, babe, whoever Mm -hmm. you are in the future, because some of the things. Anyway, I saw this TikTok, a compilation of this woman's husband, already current husband, fake Mm -hmm. proposing to her at Disneyland. And it is, I'm going to send it to you too, so you can hear it. I am absolutely here for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the fucking fork to the glass. I can't. I love that. I it, makes am you, absolutely... it makes me so happy. Because it's not me. I'm glad I'm no, no part of it, though I do feel like I would be the person doing it. <laughs> You know what? You know, in in the episode on your channel, I said I hate pranks. I'm here for that type of prank. Okay, that's funny to me. Yeah, I don't, that is I funny. don't like pranks where you can get like there's pain involved or you can get hurt or like really humiliated. Mm-hmm. I'm not there for it. this. I'm here for. Yeah, we're we're already married. And, I mean, I, this is so funny to me because I just imagine everyone. At, I feel like everyone at Disney is constantly on bated breath, waiting for some kind of proposal to happen around them. And so just how many people almost went to probably feel something, uh, it's like, it just fills my soul. It, oh, God, it's so good. It's uh, the I awkwardness of it all. The awkwardness. My here for it is a little, I mean, it's different. It's different from yours, um, <laughs> but, but, I'm, but I'm still here for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this lady had the world's longest fingernails and now mm-hmm. she's getting them clipped off. Look at that. Mm-hmm. 288.8 inches. I don't even Look know how to count that high. That nail. The persistence, the dedication. I know that those nail beds were hurting. She just said instant relief with her thumb. I that bet. must have been so heavy. Even you could tell her nails are like from the base are like curling down because of the weight. Yeah. I and mean, she was what... growing them for 30 years that's a that's a commitment i don't i've never followed anything through that long and how Um, do you literally do anything how do you type how do you use your phone i guess just like very um carefully i'll tell you what i would do um i would say i can't do any of those things and so now uh husband friend nikki the voice to you're gonna have your voice text you're gonna have to do it for me (laughs) Thanks, Siri. Uh, listen, on Roku, we uh, the Alexa and the Roku, we can like you can ch- make it change mm. things on the TV and search for things. It's incredible. Wow, so 2021 truly... is the year to have 288 inch nails. This is the time. But what I'm sad for her about is that like, okay, so she just cut them. Now some other random Rhonda is gonna grow and surpass her goal. I mean, her uh, what's it called? Her Guinness, her record. You know, listen, we can only hold on to our titles for so long. And I think, you know, you put it, you put in your time, you did a good job. You made it to 288. Anyone that's coming after you for 300 is going to pay their dues as well. And so they deserve some of that glory. So enjoy it. It's going to take a while for anyone else to surpass and um, enjoy the freedom of of, of moving those digits around. And also all the new styles you can try out now. Like what's next? Are we doing coffin shaped? Are we doing almond shaped? Are we are we keeping them short? Are we going round? What are, are we, we bedazzling? I, I wear, this is an opportunity for this woman now to have an Instagram account centered around these nails. Oh and my gosh. Uh, I think now's the time. 
So I just hope, a little management. I hope a PR person or like a talent manager really like contacted her because that's that's money, you know? That's that money to be made. That is, listen, uh, there's, there's something there. You have the title mm -hmm. of having like the longest nails. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what that means, but it means something. And yeah. so uh, the internet and with enough PR, you can twist it into anything you want. And I'm here for it. So today, I think you may be familiar with this story. I want to talk about something that is so terrifying and it happened so fast. You know, in, in your episode, we talked about the toothpick going into the woman's face, in, into her, I don't even want to say I. We did, it's, it's hard, it's hard. Sorry. Face feels less dramatic than I. And so when I say toothpick going into her eye, I feel it viscerally. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know why we both chose stories on this level this week. I guess that's where we are mentally, but hey. Yes, definitely where I am. <clears throat> There's a man who just went grocery shopping. Okay, he goes back to his car and finds 15,000 bees. Oh my God, first of all. His car. I bookmarked this story because I didn't even read into it. I just saw the title and I was like, this is something Nikki needs to know. So I'm glad that Nikki knows. 15,000 bees. Okay, Granted, so I have, I have questions. He is a beekeeper, okay? He okay. has a hobby. Okay, yes. so we, we know where the bees came from. Right. So my, cause my question was, how long were we inside of Albertsons? Because that, <laughs> seems, that seems like a pretty major project for some bees to get together. <laughs> Literally. And do. 10 minutes, babe. Okay, so 10 minutes. 10 so, minutes. So really this story is about a man who had bees in his car. <laughs> so I don't know. Listen, I didn't get far down into the article yet. I wanted to be a learning experience live okay. reaction. But what I'm assuming is that- He left that a window down. They kind of just made a nest and he wasn't privy to that information. Um, he had just finished a family barbecue when he got the call from the fire department and figured- he could safely remove and relocate the bees to his property. Oh no, so that's the okay. fire department. Listen. Oh my I'm, God, this picture. I'm not a bee expert, right? I don't want to like- Where's Ava? I don't want to victim shame this man that has this open uh, window in any kind of way. This is an incredibly unique so situation regardless, right? Mm -hmm. I have questions as a detective, <laughs> as an agent of the internet law, okay? As to what, what was in the back seat of this car? What bees were already there? What, because that's just, that's a lot. They split off from the original hive that he was keeping. Oh, uh, so they, they followed him. So they were like, we're, we're taking over this car, babe. And you can go in and get your groceries. That's mm -hmm. fine. We're going to make our own groceries. We can make honey, babe. You want a sweeter life, babe? You want to sweeten the deal, babe? <laughs> we got honey, 15,000 bees worth of honey, babe. It's a lot of bees, man. Also, who's counting these bees? How do we know this is an accurate <laughs> count? Because this, I'm just saying that like, again, this is an expert I'm sure knows what 15,000 bees look like, but are we like numbering them as they go through the smoke plume into the box, you know? No, we tell um, them to form a line. Form yeah, we, we call all their names individually. My question is what podcast and or music was this man listening to? Was he streaming perhaps Megan Tan just on Spotify uh, that he didn't notice the bees building and, and billowing in the back as he went to the grocery store? Uh, I, no one was injured. The bees are saved. You know, they're off mm -hmm. living their Well, they're not lives. all saved because I'm well, sure I'm sure a few got away. I'm there sure may a few have been some casualties. Yeah, I'm sure a few were lost. The hive survived as a whole, and that that was going to be my next question. I'm I'm happy because you know we have a, a bee dying problem, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that those bee bees are safe. <laughs> I do as well, but I'm not offering up the backseat of my car to them. Oh no no no! I don't have it. There's no vacancies here. Please find another mode of transportation. <laughs> This is me just in general, emotionally, and I think you saw it happen here live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working inside the Albertsons and someone comes in and tell me that story. And I'm like, bees? I love, I love that you chose this one because let me show you 
who I am. You ask the question, oh babe, Oprah's got the answer. The bees. Bees? Bees. I mean, listen, I do appreciate that you never have a problem with just one bee, you know? It's just, yeah. they when they show up, it's 15,000 at a time. So happy it's not me, which is the case for most of the stories throughout this week. Like, I'm just so happy it's not me. You know uh, who also shows up in swarms? Yes. These bees. And we've lost a few along the way as they stung and died upon the ground. But we're always welcoming new recruits. Yes, we, we do have open vacancies for you. I'm the queen bee and Nikki is the hollowed out parts of the hive that you all um, shit honey into. I accept. We want to give an extra special ho, 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 yup to Jeremy Shaw. Jeremy Shaw Shank Redemption this. Joan. Joan of Arcadia, Joan of my heart. Shannon Lemon. Shannon la 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 la. So sweet, so tart la lemon. And William Harvale. And William say no shit, Harvale. We also want to give a quick love you to Alexandra Eels. Alexandra swimming in the ocean eels. Big girl next door. The big girl next door. Oh God, I listen, I don't have any fun neighbor stories this week. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but I do wish you were here and I wish that we were we were sitting out back talking shit together. Cat Hart. Cat, um, Sometimes when I'm playing Zelda, you can make an elixir with monster parts and it gives you extra hearts. You get these little yellow hearts and these red hearts. And every time I do it, I think about you. I love how Cat Heart <laughs> consistently and Cat Waterflame, both of the cats get the longest thank yous. And it must be something with the word, with, with the name Cat. It so is. So name your children Cat. That's, there you go. that's the message here. Elizabeth Geierman. Elizabeth, um, Supreme being, Geierman. Heather Snitch, Veraloides. Heather, shut the fuck up, Snitch. Jennifer Best. Jennifer, be best. Cat Waterflame. Cat just, uh, just dodging and jumping through the, the, the eaves of my soul, Waterflame. <laughs> Roberto S. Roberto 3XLXS. And Stephanie. And Stephanie. We also want to thank all the BBs you see on the screen and the BBs you don't see who are ghost BBs. If you'd like to join us in the afterlife, please visit patreon.com slash whatthesweetfuck. We've been dead for years. Come hang out. Um, yeah. Thank you, BBs. B thank you, bees, for <laughs> supporting us and these videos. Uh, we welcome you to the afterlife. And if you'd like to join everyone, if you're not part of the Patreon, Family already. It's patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. We appreciate you. And that's all we have for you today. It is. You can, you, you can find me many times on most things. So come check mm -hmm. me out. There's another episode over there. Indeed. You can find me at Sunday Week on most things. Oh, also, I just wanted to report because uh, I know everyone was super concerned um, if you've been following on the internet that I had a thumb related, video game related injury. <laughs> oh my God, uh, yes. She's back. She's back. We can bend her. She's not as swollen as she was. And so I'm, I'm back on that Breath of the Wild game right now. Ooh. Just scooping and stabbing and, and soothing horses, baby. Love that. I, uh, my thumb is, uh, hasn't been injured yet. I'm waiting for it. I have been playing a little bit more Animal Crossing lately. So I'll, I'll keep you updated if I ever reach your level of thumb injury. Yeah, just get, get as obsessed as I've been with chicken breast sandwiches and white toast with mayo, please. That sounds really fucking good right now. And now I'm hungry. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs>